Hello, hello, my dear friends. My name is Katya. Welcome to my channel. speak about this beautiful basket made of pine needles. Uh, I was inspired by a vlog that I found on YouTube. I will post it below this video. A beautiful DIY and I decided to make my own basket just to make some small adjustments and um, I will tell you how I made this in this vlog. Uh, this vlog I will divide in three parts. First part will be about uh, searching these pine needles <laughs> because it's a long process. Um, um, the second part will be the DIY itself and in the third part I will uh, show you some pages of my book of shadows and we will speak about the pine tree and its uh, healing and magical properties. And now let's begin with the first part. Привет, ребят! Привет, ребят! <laughs> Мы сегодня не в горах. И здесь место такое уютное, напоминает зону Клуж. Я вижу, что здесь, наверное, можно будет даже шиповник пособирать на обратном пути. Такой спокойный лесок, и людей сейчас мало. Я стараюсь собирать более-менее новые иголочки. И желательно, чтобы они были чистенькие, потому что малейшая какая-то крапинка может испортить внешний вид корзиночки будущей. Это я уже успела насобирать, мне нужно такого очень много, а это я хочу вам показать пример, каких лучше не брать. Вот видите, здесь уже испорченная иголочка, сгнившая, и она выглядит некрасиво. Здесь тоже какие-то пятнышки, какие-то точечки. Смотрите, какая у меня находка. Это очень хорошо. Конечно, было бы лучше, если бы иголочки были длиннее, но все равно я их всех отломаю и поставлю к себе в ведерко. We will have to collect lots of needles. It turned out to be quite a lengthy but very enthralling process. Это второй раз, когда мы приходим за сосновыми иголками, потому что в прошлый раз очень быстро потемнело, и мы не успели собрать нужное количество. И сегодня мы опять в этом лесочке, правда, уже глубже зашли и пришли раньше. И вот ищу. Надеюсь, больше не понадобится для моей корзиночки приходить сюда, ну разве что для каких-то других корзиночек. I put all the needles heads up as soon as I came home. I distributed them evenly in two pots. Put some water into the teapot, boiled it and poured it over my needles. I recommend you not to skip this phase of a process. Needles will be dirty and full of bacteria without it. I let the water cool down, then drained the pots and started the next step. I cut small sticky tops of the needles. We don't need them. When I had big pauses in my process, I kept my needles in the fridge for them not to dry up. I made this tube out of paper and duct tape. Also prepared pliers for pulling the needle if needed, some scissors for the thread, needles and the thread. I chose this natural thread because I had no artificial one at that moment. 
We have to take a bunch of pine needles and insert them into our tube. Remember, the tube has to move freely. I take the thread tip and loop it tight. Always add new needles into the tube. You should not remain without working needles. It's important to put them in the middle of the other needles. This way our work will turn out neater. I twisted approximately 10 cm. Bend the twisted part in two. Now we have to fix these two parts. I left a good amount of thread, cut it off, choose a needle with a large hole and insert the thread in it. Now we will be attaching the needles to the top part of our work. If it's hard to pull out the needles, help it using pliers. The needles have to go in a circle. Hold the needles in one hand and sew them to the lower layer. Don't forget to add new needles. Where it was possible, I tried to sew my thread right above the other one. In this way, the basket will look neater. When I see the thread ending, I just bind a new piece of thread to it, making a tiny knot and continue working. When I reach the desired diameter for the bottom of my basket, I start the sides by going up the needles. I hold and adjust the side with one hand and build it with the other. When we have it so enough, we take off the tube and seal the rest of the needles. Now the lower part of the basket is done. I put it on a window sill to dry it up. Decided to put a stone on the cap of my basket and choose this wonderful amethyst. First, I glued the thread to the crystal. I used super glue for this. Then I loop the thread around the stone. To attach it better, I again used a super glue in many spots. I start twisting the thread. 
I looped about 15 cm. Put my amethyst inside and embraced it with a twisted part. Now we have to fix all these with some glue. I ended up with this cute little thing. Now we leave some thread and start working with the needle. The needles also have to go in a circle, just as with the bottom. As I was making the first row, I decided to add more glue to my crystal, to guarantee it won't fall. Then I continue making the cap. The diameter of the cap has to be a little bit bigger than the basket, it has to lay freely on it. Now we head down and make small sides. I made a couple of rows for the sides and finished my work. At the end we can cut off all the extra threads and needles. Don't forget that during the process you can change the shape of your basket. You can make it bigger or smaller, thinner or thicker. And now guys, let me show you some of the pages that I dedicated to this wonderful magical tree, uh, pine tree. Uh, I made these uh, pages in Russian because it's easier for me, but I will try to translate um, if it's if it will be possible, if I, <laughs> if I will know the words. Um, as you notice, I um, uh, put here a real pine needles, green ones. Um, I adore how it looks. <laughs> and um, also I drew on the pine tree itself, uh, its branches and uh, its uh, cones. Uh, this one is a green one and this one is a dried one. As you maybe noticed, uh, here I uh, drew um, a canal room um, because uh, it uh, is uh, uh, the most um, um, its energy fits the best to a uh, pine tree. And uh, after Kano rune comes uh, Daga's rune and Eva's rune. And uh, let me speak uh, a little bit about uh, its magical and uh, healing uh, properties. Uh, both uh, Scandinavian and Slavic people um, see pine tree as a very, very magical and powerful one. And um, uh, here I um, uh, wrote 
uh, uh, planet correspondence and this is Saturn and Mars and uh, also you can uh, feel a lot of sun energy this is a very uh, warm and very cleaning energy uh, the zodiacal sign is cancer and also line and uh, here uh, is uh, some information about the uh, pine amulets uh, that are very often made uh, for uh, cleaning and uh, for um, um, protect from protecting from negative energy pine tree amulets uh, heal very well depression apathy and clean the body and the soul also you can burn some um, pine uh, tree needles uh, to uh, attract um, um, good spirits in your home uh, here you can find a recipe of um, um, pine tree honey you have to take um, uh, one part of uh, uh, some uh, fresh and uh, green cones or um, buds pine buds and um, uh, you have to put uh, two parts or twice <laughs> much um, honey and uh, in time honey will dissolve all these uh, cones and all these buds and uh, it will um, um, fill with uh, pine tree energy very well and uh, it will be a very um, good uh, honey for uh, cough or maybe for bronchitis etc or maybe for a simple cold um, and uh, here are some uh, medical properties there are a lot a lot and the most interesting uh, thing about this uh, tree is that uh, all the parts of this tree are used in medicine roots uh, bark cones needles pollen and um, um, this uh, tree and its uh, medical properties were known uh, uh, even 5,000 uh, years ago. Uh, it was used by ancient Sumerians. In Greece and Rome, pine tree were used uh, um, uh, for healing uh, cold. And um, in uh, ancient Russia, people used to chew the resin for the uh, sanitary of uh, the, their mouth. And um, in general, this is uh, the tree of tranquility and spirit hay. Um, the next page uh, I uh, didn't manage to decorate, uh, but uh, I uh, wrote down uh, very useful information. Um, there are two types of trees. Uh, uh, vampire trees that uh, take energy. Um, when to what I mean <laughs> take energy, they can uh, take some uh, diseases, they can take uh, depression they can take negative thoughts and also there uh, are um, there is a type of the trees uh, that uh, give energy they are energy donors and uh, pine tree uh, is you can find find pine tree in the second category uh, near the birch and uh, a lot of other trees um, i will have to fill <laughs> all this list and maybe later i we will speak more about this and uh, this is it with my uh, book of shadows and the pages about pine trees. Even if my basket is not perfect and I made a lot of mistakes, I like all of them. <laughs> and it is perfect to me. I uh, like each of the mistake, each of small detail and uh, I think it is full of soul and energy. And uh, this basket will be perfect for uh, some runes, for example, for stones, uh, for something... Uh, some souvenirs and um, for now it is empty but I tried to put uh, rooms inside and it looked perfect I think I will keep some uh, stones that I uh, usually collect uh, from the mountains and uh, maybe some dried herbs we'll see I hope so much that this video was useful for you and you liked it. If you did, please support my channel by subscribing or liking this video. And you can also support me on my Patreon, you will find the link below this video. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye!